What is up guys, Cotton Knifers here coming at you with this week's Newsday Tuesday. Let's get right into it with some montages. First we've got XJMX Slice coming out with his big SMB montage, Fresh Cut 2. Next we've got Hugh coming out with their first team Taj called In Full Color. We've got ATL with his XJMX Recruitment Challenge, some sick editing, it's also called Wings. Then we've got Dice Knifing coming out with their comeback video. Hope that they do some pretty sick stuff from the knifing community and stick with it. Next we've got... Next we got some clan changes. We've got Hatchet moving from Solo to Hue. Then we have the opposite and we have a Hue member Prism moving to Solo. Then we have Hart who was an SP, moved to Solo, and now he's going to be joining Axis. Now guys, we're going to move on to our top story and um, I did it with Project. I'm going to cut to it in a second, but the audio is a little messed up because I didn't record it with my headphones. I recorded it with the computer playing the audio out loud. So you can hear his voice twice, there's a little echo, but it was pretty sick, we didn't really want to do it again, because it may have been worse, but here you go, hope you enjoy, have a nice day. What is up everybody, Codknifers here with Project, a leader of Hugh, and he's here for this week's top story of our uh, weekly Newsday Tuesday. How are you doing Project? Pretty good. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Now let's start this off with, um, tell us a little bit about how Hugh got started. Well, it was kind of a funny story, actually, because, like, me and Chosen had always talked about leading our own team after. Like, he joined, I think it was SB for the first time, or when he wasn't the leader of XJMX, which I'm pretty sure it was when he left SB. And then um, we had always talked about making a team. We wanted to call it, like, Journey or something like that, you know, something stupid. And then um, what happened was I was still in XJMX at the time, and I didn't like being there anymore. So I was like, okay, I'm ready to leave. Chosen, what do I do? And he's like, you know what? I'm going to try to like go back in, you know, make my role again, take my leader spot from, you know, dive and jam and, you know, fix everything. Cause it was kind of a little corrupted at the time, at least from my point of view. But, um, he tried to go back in, he tried to take his role and they didn't let him. They said he couldn't be a leader for XJMX anymore. And that if he wanted to be one, he had to prove himself for it. And then we both thought that was complete, you know, I mean, he brought it to 30 K or 40 K or whatever they went to and right now they're only at 60k so pretty much he he's the one that put in him and blazing were the ones that put in all the like the hard work and they were just like the ones who started spamming out the messages and stuff you know like he felt he had more power in xmx than they did and they didn't feel that way even though he was the one that gave them the leader role so that was the biggest part because that day he told me he wanted to start the team like legitly and then it was me him space sketch and a braid in a call and then a braid came up with the name i came up with the logo and then he made the channel stuff and that was pretty much how it all got started and then we got our players just from like friends and uh rocks because they had just what they were planning to end so that's how we got started <laughs> all right and how long did that take like um gathering all the players and leaders and stuff gathering around the players actually took about two weeks that's that's pretty quick that's good yeah. stuff all right <laughs> And um, second question, uh, what do you guys or what were you guys looking for in players? Um, when we first started, we just wanted players that were consistent and could hit distance. Because what we eventually wanted to do with Hugh was to get it so like it was pretty much the genesis of Knife where it's all distance, it's all complexity. And in order to first off be able to do complexity and distance, you got to start off with distance. So what we looked off for was potential in complexity and distance, which we found in Rux, I think a few K9, and then I'm not sure where the other ones came from. I think they were free agents. All right, cool stuff. And um, I know you're a leader, but like, what's your role uh, role in mm -hmm. the in your clan? And like, are you a bigger leader than the other leaders, or just tell me a little bit of that? Mm, me, Sketch, and Chosen pretty much share the entire same role. Space is more of like getting people together, you know, keeping things in order. Um, I'm more of the back work, if that makes sense. Like, I'm the one that uploads. Uh, Chosen is the one that helps me with the tags. He's the one that finds the editors. I'm the one that, like, gets the players together, and we try to keep their personalities not from being on Twitter, you know. Uh, so pretty much we all share the same roles, and then Sketch is more of the, um, I guess you can say, the pretty boy of the team, where he sort of just, like, represents it. He mm -hmm. does do a lot of work, though, and, like, involving the Dropbox and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, what are the goals, like what are your goals or what are goals that you guys have talked about for you in the future? Well, pretty much all we're just trying to do is to showcase off that 
Well, the initial thing was to sort of like be like, oh, XJMX isn't the best team. You know, there are other people that are out there that, you know, they don't happen to come like come by. And, you know, we want to prove that they're we know what we're doing. It's pretty much what we're trying to prove. Um, Because once again, Chosen, you know, we kind of brought up the backbone of XJMX. And then right now our goals are just to put out as many team touches as we can. You know, a lot of people compare us to XJMX already. We already had, like, and then a lot of people complain that we only had one team touch. So what we're planning to do this week, um, July 22nd, is we're going to have three team touches going up in about the span of four days. Wow. And uh, one of them is by a special editor. He used to be in Genesis. And then the next one is um, by Hatchet and Clutch. And then the fourth one, the SWU one, is uh, from me. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much uh, for featuring on this no week's problem. Newsday Tuesday. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say before we end this? Swag. Oh, okay. Okay. And mm-hmm. we're going to uh, hopefully be doing this uh, for probably every Newsday Tuesday if we mm-hmm. can. But um, if you can't... Do it for the fans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So thank you and see you guys all at Trick Shotting Thursday. Peace out. See you. Okay. You're still here, right? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that, that was good. A little nervous. Yeah, I got nervous <laughs> too. And like some things I would say didn't make any sense, but... Same yeah, here. That was pretty good. You, you explained uh, the first question for a good two minutes and I liked that. That was good. Huh. Ah, shaking. I don't want to say anything stupid and make it look bad. <laughs>